It can be confusing to experience symptoms you might associate with HIV even after testing negative. You might have been experiencing fatigue, fever, or swollen lymph nodes and naturally your first thought could be HIV. But after taking the test and seeing a negative result, the lingering symptoms can leave you feeling puzzled and worried. You might feel anxious, scared, or even unsure of what to do next. These emotions are completely normal. It's important to acknowledge your feelings and understand that you're not alone in this experience. Many people go through similar situations and find themselves in a state of uncertainty. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding why this happens is the first step towards taking control of your health. There are numerous resources available from online articles to medical pamphlets that can provide you with valuable information. Educating yourself about the various conditions that share symptoms with HIV can help you feel more in control. This experience isn't uncommon, and it doesn't necessarily mean the test is wrong. False negatives are rare, especially with modern testing methods. However, the timing of the test can play a crucial role. If you test too early, the virus might not be detectable yet. This is why follow-up tests are often recommended. There are various reasons why you might have symptoms even with a negative HIV test result, and understanding these reasons is crucial. Other infections such as the flu or mononucleosis can cause similar symptoms. Autoimmune diseases, stress, and even certain medications can also be culprits. It's important to remember that many conditions share similar symptoms, and a negative HIV test, while a relief, doesn't rule out other possibilities. Conditions like chronic fatigue syndrome, thyroid disorders, and even mental health issues can manifest with symptoms that mimic those of HIV. That's why it's essential to consult a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. They can help you navigate through your symptoms, run additional tests if necessary, and provide you with a clear understanding of your health status. Taking this step can bring you peace of mind and set you on the path to recovery. One crucial factor to consider is the window period. This term is crucial in understanding HIV testing and its accuracy. The window period refers to the time between when a person might have contracted HIV and when a test can accurately detect the virus in their system. This period can be a source of confusion and anxiety for many, but understanding it is key to managing your health effectively. During the window period the virus might not be detectable in your system, even if you have contracted it. This is because your body takes time to produce enough antibodies or viral particles for the test to pick up. The length of the window period can vary significantly depending on the type of HIV test used. For instance, some tests are designed to detect the virus sooner than others, which can be crucial for early diagnosis and treatment. It's important to note that during the window period, you might still be able to transmit the virus to others, even if your test results come back negative. This is why healthcare professionals often recommend retesting after a certain period if there's a possibility of recent exposure. Understanding this can help you take the necessary precautions to protect yourself and others. The body's production of antibodies is a natural response to the presence of the virus, but it doesn't happen overnight. It can take several weeks for your immune system to produce enough antibodies to be detected by standard HIV tests. This is why the timing of the test is so critical. If you test too early, you might get a false negative result, which can give a misleading sense of security. There are different types of HIV tests available, each with its own window period. For example, nucleic acid tests NATs, can detect HIV infection as early as 10 to 33 days after exposure. Antigen antibody tests, which are commonly used, can typically detect HIV infection 18 to 45 days after exposure. Rapid tests and home tests, which are more convenient, usually have a longer window period, detecting HIV infection 23 to 90 days after exposure. Given these variations, it's essential to talk to your doctor about which test is most appropriate for you, especially if you've recently engaged in any activity that could put you at risk. Your healthcare provider can guide you on the best time to get tested and whether you need to retest after a certain period. Understanding the window period is a crucial step in taking control of your health. By being informed, you can make better decisions about when to get tested and how to protect yourself and others. Always consult with a healthcare professional to get the most accurate information and guidance tailored to your specific situation. The symptoms often associated with HIV such as fever, fatigue, rash, or swollen lymph nodes are not exclusive to the virus. They can also be indicative of various other conditions, some less serious than others. 
For instance, you could be experiencing a common cold, the flu, or even a simple allergic reaction. These illnesses often share symptoms with HIV, especially in their early stages. This overlap of symptoms is precisely why it's crucial not to self-diagnose. Relying solely on internet searches or anecdotal information can lead to unnecessary anxiety and potentially harmful self-treatment. It's striking how many illnesses mimic the initial symptoms of HIV. Take the common flu, for example. You experience fatigue, muscle aches, maybe even a fever. Sound familiar? Or consider a severe case of the common cold, swollen lymph nodes, a sore throat, maybe even a rash. These symptoms, while pointing to a less serious condition, can mirror those of HIV, causing understandable concern. The takeaway? Don't jump to conclusions. Your body is sending signals, but it's up to healthcare professionals to decode them accurately. A healthcare provider is your most reliable resource in such situations. They can consider your medical history, perform a thorough physical examination, and order the appropriate tests to determine the underlying cause of your symptoms. Remember, many conditions can be effectively treated if diagnosed early. Delaying a visit to the doctor could complicate matters and potentially lead to more severe health issues down the line. Your health is a partnership. Be open and honest with your doctor about your concerns, any potential exposures, and the symptoms you're experiencing. Section 6. Decoding your body's signals. Our bodies communicate through symptoms, but these signals aren't always crystal clear. Fatigue, for example, could stem from stress, lack of sleep, nutritional deficiencies, or a host of medical conditions, including HIV. Similarly, swollen lymph nodes, while potentially linked to HIV, are often the body's way of fighting off a common infection. The key is to pay attention to your body's signals without jumping to conclusions. A persistent cough, unexplained weight loss, or recurrent fever, these warrant a visit to your doctor. Section 7. The Perils of Self-Diagnosis and the Power of Testing In today's digital age, it's tempting to self-diagnose using information readily available online. With just a few clicks, you can find a plethora of articles, forums, and symptom checkers that claim to provide accurate medical advice. However, this can be misleading and potentially dangerous. The internet is filled with misinformation, and without proper medical training, it's easy to misinterpret symptoms and jump to incorrect conclusions. What might appear as a symptom of one condition could be entirely unrelated. For instance, a headache could be a sign of anything from dehydration to a more serious condition like a brain tumor. This is where the importance of professional testing comes in. Medical professionals have the expertise and tools to accurately diagnose health issues. Beyond HIV tests, your doctor might recommend blood work, allergy tests, or other specialized tests to get a comprehensive understanding of your health. Imaging scans, such as MRIs or X-rays, can provide detailed insights into what's happening inside your body, helping to pinpoint the root cause of your symptoms. These tests provide concrete evidence, guiding you and your doctor towards the right course of action. By relying on professional testing, you can avoid the pitfalls of self-diagnosis and ensure that you receive the appropriate treatment for your condition. Section 8. Taking Charge of Your Health, Beyond HIV While this discussion has centered around HIV, the message extends far beyond this single virus. Taking charge of your health is an ongoing process. Regular checkups, open communication with your healthcare provider and a proactive approach to your well-being are crucial. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding your body, recognizing potential health risks, and seeking timely medical advice empowers you to live a healthier, more informed life. Section 9. A final word. Knowledge is power. Experiencing symptoms reminiscent of HIV, even after a negative test, can understandably cause anxiety. But remember, many factors are at play, and a negative result is a positive sign. The window period, the possibility of other illnesses, and the importance of professional medical advice cannot be overstated. Arm yourself with knowledge, consult your healthcare provider, and prioritize your well-being. Your health is your most valuable asset. Protect it, understand it, and empower yourself through knowledge.